What was it like playing at LSU? It was a fucking roller coaster. It was a trip. I mean, goons go through LSU. Oh. Not that you're not a goon, but what's it like being around the goonies in the in the Bro, LSU locker room? Those guys are fucking different. Oh man, I I got punched in the face in that locker room more times than I could fucking count. You do got a story of getting punched. Now it's all coming to memory. Oh man, it was. Can we tell it? Oh man, it was good. It what's was your good. best fight story at LSU? Man, all right, all right. So I won't. Yes, yeah, so I can't. I can't say too much. But I will say. Go, let's just let me just say player X. Okay, yeah, yeah, sure. right, well, well, I'm gonna say names, but I want to. I gotta get these details. I'm having a fucking week. It's my like post freshman season spring football spring football camp, uh, and we're just like having a blast. We're balling out, having so much fun. And so I go on Tuesday, and I can say this because I'm I'm tight with him. Me and me and Jamal Adams were scrapping out at practice, right? And we were scrapping out at practice, and the whole defense kind of mobbed me and ripped me off because. Les would have made us run. He'd have made us run these things called perfect sprints. And that's how Les talks sometimes. Uh, I we'd love be, it. Any of the boys that are going to hear it, they're going to laugh at that. We'd be doing, we'd be doing perfect sprints if, le- if we fought too much. So, like, the defensive guys were ripping me off. And, uh, and it, wasn't, it wasn't any fights where helmets were thrown off. But, like, yeah, we were scrapping. and just we were getting the energy. That's just, bro, that's just spring practice, right? And so we go, and on Thursday, uh, Leonard gets up. And Leonard and I weren't particularly close. Fournette, Leonard Fournette. Okay. He gets up and he's like, grown man. Sure is, sure is, still is. Yes. Has been for a while. But he looked that way in college. Uh, he looked that way in high school. <laughs> yes, exactly. Yeah. No, he's a grown ass man. Um, he goes, man, look, Foster's out there. He was the only one scrapping. The entire defense mobbed him. Like, what the fuck are we going to do? We going to, we going to, you just going to cower away and be, be a bitch? No, we ain't doing that. Uh, so he goes, uh, we're going to fight today, and I expect every motherfucker in this room, coaches included, to be on their ass, right? And so... Are the, is the offense getting juiced up? Oh, yeah, we're getting hyped, right? So we ran a little counter, like a little wide counter play to the left, and one of my boys came through and, and hit a dude, and they started scrapping down the field. And I'll tell you what, everyone, including our offensive coordinator, dead sprint to the pile. It was like we had, yeah, we had planned to jump. It, it was fucking hilarious, dude. It was, it was so bad, but... Uh, Y'all jumped in with the uh, defensive dudes ass? Just whoever it was. Yeah, whoever was there. Whoever was in the mix. Whoever was there. Thing. Like, there was a... My, I, was, I was just on the ground, like, choking to do it, and it was my boy, and he's like, what the fuck are you doing? He's like, what the fuck are you doing? And then he was sitting in my locker waiting for me with a fucking lead pipe, and I'm like, that one's yeah. Not gonna the not, same day after that practice. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And what happened? Bad news. Bad, nothing. I went and got a workout in. He can't. So yeah. he, he came in. Come on in, Mike. Yeah, yeah. Bring. Uh, do we got that chair? Yeah. yeah. You can bring in a chair to sit. Um, I was in the wrong, mind you. Uh, this so man got hit out. Of, him. This man got hit out of nowhere. You're choking him, and yeah. then you go into the locker room after practice, and he's sitting at your locker with a lead pipe. So we had the hangers. We had hanger like. No one had hangers in the fucking locker room, but we had like these bars right over the top that if you took it out, it basically just turns into a lead pipe. So he's just sitting in my locker with a lead pipe, like, hey, let's fucking get it on. Would I think that he was swinging the lead pipe at me? Probably not. If he was losing, maybe. But what was your decision when you saw that he was holding the lead pipe at your I locker? looked, he didn't see me. He was holding the lead pipe and he was ready. Dude was dressed to fight. I was like, shoes off, put his tennis shoes on, uh, shirt off. He's still taped. I think he went and taped his fingers. And I'm like, I'm not ready for this. I'm still in, and this is foreshadowing. I'm still in cleats in my shoulder pads. I'm going to go hit it to the fucking weight room and get a little pump in after this Thursday's practice. So he comes to the weight room and he's like, he kind of de escalated. He's like, look, man, do that shit again. Like, I'll hurt you. I'll hurt you. I'm, I'll put that on my daughter. And I'm like, all right, man, my bad. My bad. That's my bad. My bad. My bad. Oh, that's my, not me. All right, that's I not went me. even there. Yeah. My bad. My bad. Yeah. Put shit on your family. I'll probably back down. For but, sure. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, Saturday rolls around. I was going to say, I know there's more because um, we, we have our scrimmage in Tiger Stadium. And uh, one of our backs catches a route in the flat, and I just ran a corner. And so I come back and peel a linebacker's face off, right? Peel his face off. And... Uh, I'm sure he doesn't see you coming. He sure didn't. He sure didn't. Mouthpiece went flying. He almost did a somersault backflip. Uh, it was bad. It was bad. Uh, but then, like, 
the entire defense lit up. They loved it. They're like, oh, we're going to jump you. We're going to jump you. We're no, gonna, that's what we're doing. We're going to fuck you up. Yeah. yeah, we're going to jump you. We're going to fuck you up. It's so like, I'm lining up. I'm like some fucking 18-year-old white kid from New Orleans, Louisiana, Jesuit High School, private Catholic high school. I'm like, fuck. Oh, man, it's about to be scrappy. My dad, my dad told me, hey, look, look, just swing and fucking run. Dad told me, you're getting jumped. Swing, run, don't go to the ground. I said, all right, bet, bet. So I get back to the locker room, and guys are like, look, walk in with me. We'll make sure it's a one-on-one. No one will jump. I'm like, nah, man, fuck that. Fuck that. I'm walking through the side entrance. Fuck that. So this guy, so this guy walks up to me. Uh, he's probably a little concussed, but he goes and uh, he's like, let's go. And I'm like, all right, I know this is coming. I knew it was coming. Take my pads off, right? I'm going to take my shoes off. Took my pads off. Second, my pads were off my body. Put them to the side. Turn back and look at them. <sighs> Left hook. Left hook. Smoked you. Right here. Clean right here. Oh, brother. So he was sitting in there and he was like, all right, let's go. And everybody was gonna, dressed for the everybody, fight. Everybody, everybody, everybody was going to square it up. And he you're like, ready. all right, let's yeah, go. Yeah, he was ready. And everybody, everybody, everybody was circling around. Him down. Oh, oh, no, no. I was kind of by my life. It was actually, it was a lot less tone than what I thought it was. But actually, that's good. I'm missing this. I, he walked up in the front, right? And then the guy with the lead pipe from before walked up on his on his left, right? And to his other side was a good was a good friend of mine. And I'm like, what the fuck, what man? What the fuck are we doing here, man? This is ridiculous. Um okay, there was an offensive lineman. He's like, oh, so you knew this day would kill. There's a good I'm sorry. I've never shared this story publicly, but there's a good friend of mine. Uh he started singing um Kevin Gase. He started singing, uh, there's a few wrong ways, and they don't make a right. New both ways, you know, are wrong. And they're all fine. So, bro, I was, I can never, I'll he never forget singing. that. He started singing because he knew what was about that, but he goes, there's a few <laughs> wrong ways, and they don't make a right. And so I started, bro, I was, I was, like, I think back on it, I laughed, but, like, in the moment, I was fucked. He threw a left hook, call me clean, I'm bleeding. And I look at him and said the most pussy shit I ever said in my life. I said, you good now? Oh, and he goes. So he smokes you. You just sat there. Yeah, you good now? I no, I I here coming out one eye. Buckled back, and I'm bleeding, and I'm like, you good now? And he's like, bro, charge me. Same left hook though. Ducked it, grabbed him, and we fought. I'm in cleats, right? And we're on tile, sliding across the fucking bathroom floor. We hit the wall. I bang his head against the wall, and by that point, a walk-on putter came and broke up the fight. Right, came and broke up the fight. He almost got jumped because he broke this fight up. Uh, that everyone was just waiting to see. Like it was either I was gonna get my ass beat or like I was gonna fucking fend for myself. Right? Oh, dude, it was fucking terrible. So I just go to the training room, go to the training room, grab some fucking paper towels, wipe my shit clean, and I'm like, can I get a bag of ice? They're like, what happened? I'm like, I slipped and fell. The old slip. Yeah, and fell. I slipped and fell. They're like, oh, all right, whatever. It didn't. Hey, it's matter. like our first fight story that's been told on Boston, man. It wasn't bad either. Yeah, no, it wasn't bad. It wasn't bad. It getting, was a good time. I'm getting smoked. I love the. Uh, are you good? Yeah, I said you good. You just, fuck that. Same left hook. I got punt. Yeah, he was one for two on significant strikes. I was one for <laughs> one. It's not a big deal, but like, no one's keeping track. 